as Andrew mentioned, we were founded uh, not so long ago. It stems from uh, an end user group which uh, was responsible for applying to the government for permission to release, uh, import and release 11 different kinds of dung beetle into New Zealand. At the end of that whole process, we continued um, uh, a commercial identity as dung beetle innovations. So these are the 11 different kinds of beetles that we have permission to bring to New Zealand. We have several of them here already and I'll show you those. How we do it? Well, we have a couple of facilities out in the South Kaipara um, where we have an arrangement of, of different types of growing methods which all involve large volumes of soil upon which we put fresh, uh, largely organic manure free of chemicals so we know that beetles aren't going to be affected. Uh, and we um, put them through that basic cycle en masse and we collect the, the, um, the beetles as the new ones emerge out of the soil. So we do that in a different set of containers and locations. We utilize um, uh, soil en masse to fill up such large carrying capacity containers. So we have a very big operation out in um, Kuiper and as I say, Kauri behind you there is the one running all of that. Um, we also do a lot of research, so part of our mandate involves researching what we preach. We like to practice as well, so there's a lot of literature out there, but most of it is from overseas. Now, if we can show in New Zealand context the same sorts of results, then we can have confidence that what's being told overseas is applicable to New Zealand conditions too. And so far, the research that we are doing is in accordance with what's found overseas. So we have good confidence that what we bang on about is actually applicable here too. So we have a lot of research, a lot of collaborations going on um, just to see what's going on in New Zealand environment. Um, so we have these beetles in production at the moment, which one, two, three, four, five. So one at the end is the Mexican beetle, which isn't in production so much, but it is field harvested, so we can actually collect it from the fields because it's abundant in certain places, uh, particularly out in South Kaipara. Um, that big blue one is the spinager. That's a, um, it's a large volume beetle which does love horse manure. In fact, most of these guys do love horse manure. In fact, it's almost a preference for it at a certain time of year. They really get into it. So we do have an array of beetles that do love horse manure. Um, this is a new one which has come into production, which will be um, in hopefully online for sale this year. It's a prolific barrier of dung. It's um, a South African species. Um, this is a typical photograph in, um, in one of our rearing bins of manure being completely hammered by the beetle and this is all the soil push-ups, kind of like what you see from an earthworm cast, but just on large scale. Uh, and they bury an awful lot of manure. And that's, um, that's come into production. And these are the ones that we've brought in this year. The top one is a winter specialist. Uh, when all the other beetles are largely underground sleeping through winter, this one's up doing its thing right in the winter active times for it and it's the most abundance when everything else is quiet. Um, that one there we may well utilize in whole farm packages which we'll show you or maybe sell it as itself for specialist applications. And then this one here which is this, probably the biggest beetle for the whole bunch of the 11 that we've got which is still in quarantine as well. We have permission to release this one so it's being disease tested as okay. We're about to disease test this one. Um, and those will come into production hopefully um, next year or so. Um, but that will complete our array of beetles. And why have we got so many different types of beetles? Well, it's simply because manure is produced by these animals all the time. Um, and basically we've got beetles that are active at night time, active at daytime, dawn and dusk flyers, things that are active in different times of the year. So to get complete control of your manure year round, you need a different array of beetles that are active at different types of years so that you've always got one or two species present to try and control your manure all year round, not just at one time of the year.